hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back thanks so much for the new subscribers i really do appreciate you for joining my channel watching like comment and subscribing yeah so today we're going to shop at aldi this is a grocery store it's one of the cheapest here and uh, a friend of ours suggested it and yeah so we just decided to try it out and uh, see how it goes because previously we didn't know about it and um uh, yeah so we were, we were to go to another store but then he suggested this one that it could save us a good money so yeah and just we're just here to find out how everything is and see how like our expenses will, will go yeah because lately we're just trying to like at least save some costs because you know the bills and you know if you like groceries the bills the groceries yeah just everything combined it's just becoming too overwhelming and so we just need something to that will help us at least cut costs and live but still live uh you know the life that we deserve yeah so that's why we decided to hop into here and i'm impressed they have a variety of uh groceries so here i was just picking what we didn't have at home yeah so we did have some tomatoes and uh yeah also avocado i really like avocado avocado this side it's really good it's so good like most of the time when i just you know sometimes when you buy avocado and then you get disappointed that some are not good some are good but lately every avocado that i buy is just good and it tastes really nice yeah and also we are going to get some bread Aran has been craving for some bread no this this sides like they don't have these two small small shops around so when you have to, when you don't have something you just have to create something with the ingredients that you have at home before you get to go and purchase the the thing that you need so we didn't have bread at home and arena was like she really wanted the bread so i decided to come here and get some bread and also some snacks for her and me <laughs> yeah so i really love that so i just get going to go around and check what's available in here and see yeah how everything goes with the prices and also just whatever they have so that at least we know next time we know where to get this where to get that so that when you come back like at least you have a variety of of stores that you can shop from so maybe if we need this we, we know that we can get this at this affordable this will be affordable at this store and this will be affordable at this store so that's where we will be going yeah so at least i'm so glad that we came to like our friends showed us this aldi shop yeah so just going to get some things over here and also this the dishwasher like the dish the liquid soap we did have at home and that was just going for one dollar like that was a good price <laughs> yeah so that's what we did have we have tissue right now so this one at least they also have tissue so next time we know yeah we can always come here to get some tissue and other stuff and then we also needed some milk milk here is three dollars like this same milk i recently bought it in another shop and it was five dollars same same product like same quality and everything the same amount and it, this is just five three dollars the other one was five dollars so that's a save too and also the chicken uh, we have meat at home so we have like beef at home so the chicken is what you needed today and um, i was just going for drumstick and uh, chicken wings 
yeah and also some cooking oil some oranges arena loves oranges nowadays she carry oranges to school for as snacks and you also got some eggs at two dollars each yo that's almost three dollars but that was a good price considering that other places sell it at like five or four or three yeah and this is the price list our list of items that we bought we spent like 150 dollars that was a good one because other stores you will spend like 250 almost 300 dollars for the groceries and these groceries most last uh, for quite some time because some we don't have to buy them after every two weeks or after a week some last longer yeah so just finish shopping there and now let's ho head back home so we are back home but before i start sorting this out i want to make sure that i wash this yeah this has been here for since tonight like night time and then i have to wash them so let me just wash these and then sort out the groceries that we just bought The milk that we bought last time with five dollars the same amount of milk we bought today with three dollars like yo yo can see the difference but i'm done with the dishes i'm just going to sort out the shopping to see which ones go to the fridge the dry foods and the ones i just need to prep before i keep i lied i lied i so I got myself these peanuts. They are peanuts with sea salt. One thing I realized about these foods is that if it's salty, if it has salt, it is too salty. If it has sugar, it is too sugary, like too sweet. <laughs> so this one is kind of quite salty, but at least I can eat it. The crisp was the one that was too salty, but this one, I think it's a good one. Can have it as a snack or for tea yeah. got some granola it's been quite quite a while since i had this by the way my friend esther once like just told me how to make this but then i've been quite lazy to do it because one thing i don't love oats so i just prefer to get this one that is already made ready made and i just do away with it like eat it and finish at the time like so i don't have to make quite a huge amount that i'll eat like often or it's just once in a while thing for me got some ice cream ice pops it's quite hot lately so let me just start with this one <laughs> It's quite hot and this one just helps yeah they help a lot uh, so I got this one and then I got this one I know she'll not want me to have this but I usually just take it <laughs> you know this one tastes really good and it has that cool cool taste your ice cream i didn't take it here you take this yeah i pick that and you pick this one that chocolate one yeah me too now it's time to wash this 
we got the drumsticks and chicken wings so i'm just going to wash this in vinegar and then try to marinate them then i store when you marinate before you store like it helps to retain the flavors and also you can just do with salt salt alone or salt with other spices but i'm just going to use spices that i love to marinate with yes yeah, so let's do this So I found these things to be useful. I'll be using them in the fridge to organize, like the freezer, to organize them, to organize the freezer part. Once I put this chicken in the Ziploc bag. So, so I decided to wash them and use them later. The crisps I was saying are quite salty quite salty by the way I haven't tasted this but i think they're salty too so one thing i was saying that if something is salty like it's just too salty like this cake it was like it has sugar but it's too sugary like too sugary for me so i guess that's how it is but i know maybe with time but yo not that one <laughs> Yeah, so these are also some eggs we got. These eggs we got them a dozen at two dollars. Two dollars a dozen. These are quite a good price since the other time, like we went to other shops, they're going for like five dollars or four dollars, three dollars. Yeah, it depends with the shop you go to. But all these had for two dollars. That's quite a good price also got some coca-cola i hope it tastes the same i hope i hope so <laughs> just taste it before we proceed Rather yet, so you're sorry i can't forget so many promises i also got some bread over here and i don't know can you just leave me alone <laughs> so i've been wondering how to like get the best bread because these ones, most of them, they're sour bread. Like some you'll just find they're written sourdough, but then some are not written. But the taste, the taste is not what I want in a bread. But the, the one that I found to have the good taste, I no longer find it in the stores that I go to. So I don't know if people love it that much. But so I just bought this to try out which one would be the best. Yeah. But if you know the best bread without that weird taste, yeah, can let me know. Also got some vegetables that were quite affordable. Some chocolates. These, cho these chocolates are going for like two dollars each. Two dollars each. But and then it's quite big, by the way. Even though I haven't tasted to see how it tastes, but I guess it's just a good taste. And some onions, some coriander. I'll be keeping this very well. Potatoes, some carrots, these avocados, they're ripe already. So I'll just wash and then wipe well, then put in the fridge. 
last time we got these almost the same amount of avocado and it was going for thirteen dollars but this was going for eight dollars the whole of this which was quite a steal yeah which was just a good price and these tomatoes too they were quite a good price sushini and carrot always go well i really love that combination with some chicken it's really good so yeah let's wash these and then store them but then let me share with you a hack with uh, storing some um, like carrots one thing well, well, that i was doing while in kenya like you know i will just peel these but now that i don't have a peeler just cut the top and the bottom part then you wash nicely and then you just store you wash then drain then store and that's it it will last for two three weeks without drying up when you don't have but sometimes you can even put in a jar you can put it in a jar with some water to retain that like see these are so big they are quite big and the, the price was quite good i really love that shop by the way i think we'll be shopping there for some time if we go, don't go to the other shops yeah it's a good place so that's the hack i'll be showing you the hack for the coriander So I've stored these coriander for like two weeks and look at them. They're still very fresh. So just wash after I wash, drain the water and then put it in the kitchen towel and then put it in this bag. So that's what I'm going to do with the, the other one too. Let your body language We come and say it Watching how you move Yeah, like where I see Got our favorite station Taking in your fragrance That's an easy way to make a bitch go weak I could do us every day We're taking turns when I play Want you to give me all of you Like we got nothing to say Love all the faces you make I'll do whatever it takes Know the position on your knees But ain't got nothing to pay hey, hey, hey. Wonder if you stay for a while Never wanna lose on not time You know how I need it right now Come on baby, take me for a ride So these are the spices that I'm using to marinate garlic, curry powder, turmeric, soy sauce and salt. You can also have uh, others like just uh, use your favorite favorite uh, spices. I'm also having some lemon juice and yeah, that's all that I need for this. And yeah, you can just add a variety, but these are the ones that I currently have and comfortable using. So that's what I'm going to use. And just marinate the chicken well then store in a ziploc bag and then you're good to go I'm done with that and the chicken is right here in the freezer chilling in the those ziploc bags and all is good we have the water we just uh like put them like i said before it's quite hot nowadays it gets hotter so sometimes it's hot sometimes it's just cloudy the weather is cool yeah so we just need some cold water and those are the avocados some oranges and grapes yeah these are the vegetables that i have 
So I'm looking forward to make delicious meals with them. And these are some of the remaining chicken that you're going to have for dinner. Just some chicken, some boiled rice, vegetable rice, and guacamole, but not like mushy guacamole. Just cut and yeah, here it is. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching it. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay here for more. I hope you like this one. Bye-bye for now, and let's meet another time in another video. Bye!